Hello dear students, welcome once again to my channel Maths in Minutes with Priya. If you haven't yet subscribed it, please do so, it's absolutely free. Today it's turn of clip 25 and the topic is square root of imperfect squares. If you watched earlier clips that is 23 and 24, the topics we covered were square roots and cube roots of 5 digit 6 digit numbers but today we are going to find square root of such numbers which are not perfect squares that means their square root is going to be in fraction so let's see the shortcut way to find this out for this also we are going to need our favorite chart <laughs> if you remember squares from 1 to 30 that is needed everywhere so please start by hurting it's not at all difficult once you use it many times it automatically gets memorized so don't worry much we are going to need this and also for this particular topic what we need is fast conversion from fraction to decimal that is also very much needed so let's begin square root of 38 square root of 38 38 lies between 36 and 49, isn't it? We need the square root of 38. So it's going to be more than 6, that is for sure. But it's going to be less than 7. So here what I'm going to write. First I'll write 6. It's going to be more than 6 but less than 7. So I'm writing here 6. Now let's see how much more than 6. For that, I need a mixed number, mixed fraction. 6 integer something upon something. What are these two numbers? Let find out. Let's find out. Now what I said for square root of 38, what we did is 6 square is 36 and 7 square is 49. So we wrote here 6. Now what we will do? Numerator will be difference of 38 and 36 remember it's going to be little more than 6 because 38 is more than 36 38 lies here isn't it so whatever the difference between them write it here and in the denominator write double of 6 that is 12 and that is your answer 6, 2 by 12. Now 2 by 12 is 1 by 6. 2 1s and 2 6s. So this is 6 integer 1 by 6. And 1 by 6 is 0. 0.16. So this is 6.1666 whatever. Recurring it is. 6.16. So your answer square root of 30 is this 6.16. We are going to see many examples. So don't worry if right now you are not understanding this procedure this is very easy when we solve couple of example more you will understand it and one more thing this may not be the exact answer like if you use calculator and find square root of 38 it will be 6.16 something so it's not going to be exact answer but it's going to be very close to the actual square root that you find in the calculator this is going to be very close to it so if sometime you are not allowed to use calculator you can use this procedure and this is fast also so let's see one more example square root of 89 89 lies between which two squares 81 and 100 9 square is 81, 10 square is 100, 89 lies here somewhere. So the answer is going to be lower of the 2, 9 and 2. So I am going to write 9. So it is going to be more than 9, that is definite. But how much more? Let us see. In the numerator, difference between 81 and 89. Difference is 8. In denominator, double of 9, that is 18. This is again can this can be reduced to 4 and to 9. So this will be 4 by 9. So 4 by 9 must be converted to 
decimal point using division so convert it and tell me the answer and then let's match it very easy conversion this is it comes to 0.4 so your answer is 9.4 square root of 89 is 9.4 if you find it with calculator you will find it very close to 9.4 let's see next number square root of 200 square root of 200 between which two squares 14 square is 196 15 square is 225 14 square is 196 15 square is 225 200 lies somewhere here so between 14 and 15 square root is going to be between 14 and 15 so 14 is fixed now we have to find this fraction between 200 and 196 difference is 4 so write 4 here denominator will be double of 14 that is 28 4 upon 28 is 1 by 7. Conversion is very easy. Please tell me the answer. That's right. 1 by 7 is 0.14. So your answer is 14.14. Use the calculator and please see whether the answer is right. You will be amazed that how this answer is close to the actual answer. And without using calculator, we found this out. Let's move to next example square root of 331 lies between which two numbers 331 324 and 361 18 square is 324 19 square is 361 18 square is 324 19 square is 361 and somewhere here lies 331 so its square root is going to be between 18 and 19 so 18 is fixed let's see the fraction what will be the numerator do you remember very good difference between 331 and 324 that is 7 and denominator is going to be double of 18 that is 36 7 upon 36 please convert this by doing division and your answer will be 18 point please tell me what it is it comes out to 18.19 if you find the square root using calculator you will get the answer very close to this number i hope you are loving this trick very innovative kind of trick now let's move to next number square root of 679 679 lies between 26 square and 27 square 26 square is 676 27 square is 729 676 lies here somewhere 679 sir 679 lies between these two numbers so square root is going to be 26 plus something what will be numerator difference between them that is 3 and double of 26 that is 52 please convert and let me know the answer this 26.05 now let's try a small number also because what happens once we try big numbers we kind of forget small numbers and then we we don't get the square root of small numbers i have seen this happening with many students so let's find square root of 17 now 17 lies between 16 and 25 so the many times you don't have to refer this chart because you know that 17 lies between 4 square and 5 square are these squares very difficult to remember no you use them every day so don't rely much upon this written table rely on your brain i'm sure you remember it but you have to practice you have to practice by not looking at this chart try to memorize it this 17 lies between which two squares it lies between four square and five square so let me write it here and all this 
things I am writing just to explain. You don't have to write everything. This is just for explaining. 17 lies here. So square root is going to be little more than 4. So I am going to write 4 here. Numerator will be difference between them that is 1. And double of 4 that is 8. So answer is 4. 1 by 8. What is 1 by 8? 1 by 8 is 0.12. So answer is 4.12. Square root of 52. Now I am not referring to chart. You only tell me 52 lies between which two squares. Very good. 7 square is 49. 8 square is 64. And 52 lies somewhere here. So the square root is going to be 7 plus something. So 7. Difference between 49 and 52 is 3. Denominator is going to be 2 times of 7 that is 14. And the answer will be 7.21. See this fraction conversions are not difficult. They are all small numbers and it is very easy to convert orally. Even without doing actual per revision per uh, operation on the paper, just orally you can also solve this. This is very easy. So answer is 7.21. These two you can solve if you want some homework exercise. Find them and then confirm the answer on calculator that you, you reach to very close answer. In the next clip, we are going to start with very important topic that is ratio proportion. Ratio proportion is base. Many times ratio proportion, these ratios are used in uh, problems of ages, uh, partnership, also percentage and ratio proportion problems or many types clubbed. So that chapter is very important which we are going to start from the next clip. It will be covered in three or four parts. Uh, right now I don't know because it's a vast chapter and it has many subsets. So let's see how it goes. You can practice this till then. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, Maths in Minutes with Priya, please do so. It's absolutely free. And now let's meet in the next clip. Till then, stay blessed, stay happy. Bye for today.